How's everybody today? Everybody doing good? You ready to make something cool? What I'm doing is I'm taking one of my 10 yard ribbon spools and I'm making a circle because I need to cut that. That's going to be part of our design. Anybody have a clue of what we're doing? Have I piqued your interest? We're going to be working with some Dollar Tree supplies. And we're going to make this. Hey, Yvonne! What do you think about that? That's what I think of when I think of Christmas. Let me see if I can get you in closer. I think a carolers, but that didn't work, did it? Can you all see it okay? It'll flip back just a minute. Hi, Deborah. This is what we're going to make. You guys ready? All right. First of all, you're going to need... Um, a styrofoam cone. Now you, these are the ones you get at the Dollar Tree. I will use them for the purpose of this, but I do not like them. I like ones that I get from my supplier better. They're, this is shorter, and then the other ones I get are bigger than this. Um, I just don't like the, the quality of this, but for this, for the purpose of this, I'm going to use it. And then you're going to need an 18 inch Dollar Tree tree skirt. You're going to need some ribbon. Okay. Any color will do. Let's work with some gold today. I have gold over here. All right. I also, I make little uh, dog top knots, so I have a lot of little things, and these were little gold poinsettias that I had in my inventory. Um, so what you, what you get, what you can get from the dollar store is the styrofoam and the tree skirt, okay? You're going to need some felt, you're going to need some doll hair. And you're going to need a one and, let me see, this is a, this one is, I think, a one and, one and a half inch knob, ball knob. Now, the reason it's called a ball knob, because if you were, um, you can attach this to something flat. See how it's flat on one side and then round on the other? Okay, it fits nicely on that. And this one and a half inch size is perfect. So they're called unfinished wood ball knobs. Okay? All right? So the only thing you need to go out and get that you can't get at the Dollar Tree are the ball knobs and the hair. Thank you, Marilyn. This, this is... This is really difficult to work with at times. It is so curly. I'm going to start making my own um, doll hair because I do not like that stuff. All right. So what we did was I used my 10-yard ribbon spool, okay, because you need the circle bigger than the bottom. Can you all see that? Let me get this out of my hand. You need the circle bigger than the bottom of the styrofoam. Okay? All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to put some hot glue on here. And see, my other ones, the other styrofoam I use does better. This is the styrofoam just kind of eats the, the glue and then leaves indents in the styrofoam. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to go around and you're going to snip. Can you guys see what I'm doing? 
let me see if I can bring you down just a little closer. You're actually going to snip, and these scissors are not the best for that. Let me try this one. Okay, you're going to snip right to the edge of the styrofoam. Because what you're going to do is you're going to put a bead of glue around the bottom and you're going to cover up by pushing this up. It's just a way to seal off the bottom so when they pick it up, they don't see the styrofoam. Now, I have been covering up some of mine because this tree skirt is kind of see-through, but you don't really need to cover it up, just the bottom. So now we're going to glue here. So your biggest expense is going to be your hair and your ball knob for the head. If you're buying your um, cones from the Dollar Tree, you've got a dollar here, you got a dollar here. I will go back and look at all the comments when I'm done and answer any questions you have. All right, now, if you don't cut these little things, they snag the fabric, so you want to make sure you get those cut. Now, you can get out of this one tree skirt, you'll have enough to do a couple, all right? So what I do, most of your cones have a seam down one side, all right? So what I do is I just butt that right up onto the seam, and then I just roll this on to the tree skirt. And when it overlaps, that's where I cut. So see how easy that is? Now, oops, stick into the glue. All right, so now what I do is I go down this indentation with a bead of glue. Gotta add another glue stick. So I add another um, bead of glue. Then I take an edge And I take this, I have the fur right to the bottom of the, of the caroler's body. Please be really, really careful because this fabric is really thin. And if you try and stick your hand there, you're going to get burned. So now what I do, I got a little glue on her. Let's trim that off. Now what I do is I put a bead of glue around the bottom. And then I slowly take this around. Make sure your fur is above the bottom of the body because if it's not, you'll have a lopsided caroler. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to overlap the two. Don't worry about the back because you're not going to see it. So you want another bead of glue down here and you're going to glue that right in place. Again, using your stick or something so you don't burn your finger. Now whatever's sticking up you can trim it. There. Okay. Now see, I got it flat. Let me glue this down a little. All right. Then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to trim off the excess at the top because you don't need it. You want to have a, a nice um, clean base 
to attach your one and a half inch wood knob. It's called a ball knob. It's flat on one side and it has a hole. So if you had a little skewer or something sticking up in here, you could just put it right down in there. But you don't really need to do that, okay? So you're just gonna glue the head right to the top of the body, okay? Make sure it's on straight. All right, now we're gonna go on to the cape part, this part here, okay? Now, when you cut this, the end, this end here is going to be, it's going to fray. So you have one of two choices. If you're a sewer, you can turn it down and stitch it, or you can take hot glue and add some kind of trim to the bottom of this if you wanted to, okay? And look here, I even have um, Music Notes uh, wired ribbon. So I actually used that. I just folded it in half and I will glue it to her fur to make it look like she's holding the songbook right in her hands. But you don't see the hands. You don't need the hands because the cape is covering over that. All right, now for the cape, what I did, okay, you want, for if you're using the Dollar Tree one, First of all, you want about 10 inches of the fur going across the front, okay? So you're gonna take your piece that you just cut off of and you're gonna measure it out to 10 inches and you're gonna snip it, all right? Then, where's my tape measure? Whoop! That's if you're using the Dollar Tree cones. If you're using another one, you're gonna to have to cut one and judge it, all right? So you're looking at 10 inches across and about five inches back, all right? So we cut it at 10 inches. So then what I do is I find the middle, all right? And then I go to my five inch mark, all right? And I kind of round it and cut back towards the front and trim it at the trim. So I've done all the measuring for you, all right? And then this is just gonna fit here. And then you're gonna tie some ribbon around here to hold it. Now, like I said, if you're not a seamstress, you don't have a sewing machine to finish off the edge, then you're gonna to wanna to glue some trim on there because if not, all this sparkle stuff is gonna start coming apart. All right? All right. But first, before we put that on, I'm gonna show you how to do her hair. And this stuff is pain in the butt. But gotta be done. All right, and basically, you just need to put the hair right on the front, okay, of the head. You don't need it anywhere else because the back of your hat, the back of this cape, is gonna cover, you're not even gonna see that she doesn't have any hair, okay? All right, so the easiest way to do this, and like I said, this stuff is awful to work with, and I'm afraid that this is going to kind of blend in with her, her um, complexion. So I did bring some of this down. I didn't know if I could cover up part of her face, if I could get it flat enough. That kind of looks a little better. Let's just see. again you don't have to cover the whole head you're just now nah, I'm gonna leave it off the good thing about this is it's wood you can paint this to any skin tone color you like so 
these do not have to be, you know, they could be any color you want. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to trim off some of this hair. I'm just going to get a blob in my hand. All right. Now, this is really, like I said, this is really hard to work with because you don't want to be pushing down on the hot glue. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually use your hands to spread it down and sit it on her head. Because once you start going back in there and messing with it, you you got glue sticking to you, hair sticking to you. If you use the scissors that stick into that, so you don't want to do that. You basically want to get just as much as you can, just like in her forehead area and a little bit down the sides. Okay. Now, for scragglers like this, just trim them. Give her a haircut. It's not going to hurt. See, I can go back in a little while, like I did now. I waited a little bit before I pushed down with my fingers. All right, so that's all you need that for. Now, we're going to take our piece that we cut. And like I said, if, you, if you're a seamstress, you're going to want to turn this under and stitch it or glue some trim around it. So we got 10 inches of fur and we got it going to five inches. So remember we folded it in half, came to our five inch part and just rounded it a little because that's going to make it sit nice and back on her shoulders. Now sometimes you have to go back in here and just tuck some of this hair in there. Let's go ahead and use some gold. Because I have a little gold point set of that I can glue on there. Let me just turn it around so I can see what I'm doing. So basically you're just grabbing it back like that and putting a bow in the front. And you could use any hair color for this. And then you gotta gotta make sure like it's even, that your fur is even in the front. Because you don't want her to look crooked. And like I said, you have to tuck the hair back in there sometimes. not having much luck tying this. There we go. So then you straighten it out. Tuck some hair back in if you have to. Trim it if you have to. It's very unruly. Okay. And then what I do, I usually put a dot of glue in the back here just to hold that in place. See what I mean? I don't know where that came from. <laughs> there. I've walked out of my craft room and had it sticking to me. Trailing around the house behind me. See how easy that was? What do you think? Then we'll take... I don't know what to do with my music ribbon. Bet you it's upstairs. Then you would take your ribbon, fold it, the wired ribbon, and then you can just glue that right to the front. Can you all see it? So here's the first one. Now what I'm going to show you, I'm 
We can make another one if you want me to go through it again. But this is what we're going to do. Remember I showed you the other night on my live these little lamps, street lamps from Dollar General that are $5. Oops, sorry. I'm losing it. There we go. Look at that. Does not not scream like a caroler's um, here. So I have an old wooden crate here. And I got this um, sheet of snow. You want to see closer? All right. How's that? All right, so we're going to cover the crate with this sheet of snow. Okay. And I went ahead and decorated a little tree. I didn't finish decorating it all together. And then we're going to put, see, you're going to need the camera just a little bit. There we go. Position them in front of the street light. And look at that. Is that not the cutest little scene? They even had those street lights in white. But I didn't think the white would look good against the snow. I thought this one would look better. And let's see if we can fit our third one in here. This was the first one I made. She was the prototype for all that was going on. How's that? Won't that be the cutest little display on a table? Now I'll go back and look. I'm sorry I wasn't paying attention to the comments. I kind of wanted to get this down so you could see it. Oh, they lost their music. So I didn't glue it yet. But I thought I could make a little little muff. Remember muffs when you were a little girl that you just stuck your fingers in? How's it look? Hi, Dolores. Were you all able to watch me make one, or do I need to make another one so you can see me do it again? Oh, here's the music note. Ribbon. <laughs> right next to me. Isn't that the cutest? Couldn't you see that on a on a table, decorating a table at Christmas time, or you know the entryway? Um, so many things you could do with this, and I actually had some of this. This is called um, Jumbo Loopy Chenille. It's got like wire through it. When I made the first one, I made her dress a little too short. So I added that down there to give it a little fluff. If you're a crafter, you probably have some of this laying around. So basically, you probably have maybe one, two, four dollars into these. Wouldn't they make a cute gift too? Hi, Anna. You caught the last... Okay, you want me to do it again? I can make another one. And you don't have to go out and buy the Dollar Tree... Um, the Dollar Tree tree skirt. But I thought, well, geez, you know, by the time you go out and buy the trim and everything else, you've got everything right there. Look at this one that I made this afternoon. This was out of um, a placemat that I found. I have like four of them. So I cut it up and I was actually able to get out one out of the table or the placemat. But isn't that adorable? So simple. All right, we'll go through and make another one. So for those that are just popping on, they can see it. 
All right. The only thing is, I can't figure out how to make a boy one. I haven't, I haven't accomplished that yet, but we'll get there. All right, we'll do another one so you can see me doing it. So, so simple. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, and thank you for joining. Now, this was the same tree skirt that we made this one out of. Look, I got enough to make another one out of it. So, when you buy this 18-inch tree skirt, you have enough fabric to make at least two. All right? So because I like this straight edge better, we're going to start from that side. We're going to get rid of this. All right. So remember I told you, you're going to find the seam in the styrofoam. And you're going to lay that against the fabric. Because if you don't, you're going to lose your place. So you're just going to grab it and roll it around till the fabric overlaps. Don't worry about this. So there you go. It's overlapping. So we're going to make a little snip here. So we know to go down that way and cut. And I tried making a pattern, but these tree skirts are a little irregular. So you're better off just using your your um, styrofoam to do it. So you're putting a bead of glue down where you have that seam. Then you're going over here. You got to flatten the fur out. Oh no! Wait. Oh crap! Wait a minute. No, we don't want to. We need to cut our felt for the bottom. All right. So I'm using my 10-inch yard roll to make a circle, or my 10 yard roll. And this is, this is four inches. Okay, so you need like a four inch circle if you're using the Dollar Tree. Okay, so you cut that, glue the bottom, now see this bottom is smaller than that because you kind of want to eyeball it and put it in the middle, okay? Then you're going to trim, just going to make little slits right to the edge of the, of the styrofoam. This is just to cover up your base so people don't know it's styrofoam. I'm sure they'll be able to tell you. Then you're going to glue around the base. And then you're going to turn it up towards the top of the styrofoam. Can you all see it okay? See, I I prefer the ones that I buy. They're 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 tall. They're, there's a short one and a longer one, but the quality of the styrofoam is better than this. This dents too easy. But you know, if you're just having it sit on a table. And you're making them as gifts. I mean, it's not like they're going to be played with, hopefully. Not. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to start over again. All right, so we're going to go, you're going to make sure that your fur is flat so it touches the bottom. And watch, because this fabric is really thin and it can burn you right through the fabric. So you're better off taking like a, a stick and, and pushing it into the glue. Okay, 
Then you're going to go around the bottom and glue it because you want that fur to stay right in place. You don't want anybody lifting her skirt up. See what's under there? No. This poor girl started out to be an angel and she ended up being a caroler. So, strange things have happened. Oh, I must have cut too much. All right, so we're going to cut some of that off. And then you're going to overlap it. And you, ew. Smart little bugger. It's easy to push the fur in place because the fur is like got two layers and you don't get burned when you're playing with that. Just make sure you stretch it out. Then you gotta overlap your seams. See how the glue comes right through the skirt? All right. Then you're going to trim off the top because you don't need the top. Then you're going to take your one and a half inch ball knob, it's flat on one side, and you're going to glue it to the top here. And there she is. Now, you're going to go back to that piece that you had. You want to measure the fur out to 10 inches and put a little snip where your 10 inch mark is. Then you're going to fold it. Okay. And where it comes out here, you're going to trim back, but then you're going to round this off. That's what gives you that rounded edge in the back. Then try it out on her first. See, you're not going to see the back of her head. You're not going to see the back of this. Then you go back. I have some white hair here. Nah. We'll just put another blondie in the pack. Just trim off a little bit of the doll hair. Put some glue on the top, pretty much like the front of the head. And you're going to pull it down on both sides. If you have to use a stick, I mean, if you have to push it into the glue, use something that's not going to stick. Uh, like, not, don't use your finger is what I'm saying. Alright, let's see. She looks kind of cute. You could if you even wanted to. If you could put hair all over her head. And then you could just make like a cape like that if you wanted. So there's your two options. But I like this because it covers up your seam in the back. Okay. So you're going to make sure that both your ends are even. Let's use some red bow on this one. Just turn around so I can see where I'm at here. And then you're going to tie it off. I mean, these can get addicting. I was thinking of all the different colors I could use. Fabrics. Look at that. She's all crooked. We don't want her crooked. probably better to lay her down 
like that. Tuck your hair back in. And for the bottom, if you're not a seamstress, you're going to want to you're going to want to um, take some trim and glue it around the bottom of her cape because it frays. So if you're not stitching it off, and then when you're done, you just put a little spot of glue right there and I'll hold it in place. And there we go. Wow, look at that, see? Had to give her a haircut. And then if you want, use the wired ribbon to make it look like she's holding a hymn book in her hand. You can just hit it with glue, spot it with glue on both sides, and there you go. You got yourself a caroler. wonder how many we can fit on here. <laughs> there you go. Um, does anybody have any questions? Because I can answer any questions now. Thank you. If it's freezing on you, Dolores, try going back out and coming back in again. Sometimes that helps. So really all you need is this, some styrofoam, a one and a half inch ball knob, a little bit of felt, and some hair. You don't need to put a face on it if you don't want to. You're so welcome, Dolores. Thank you for, for stopping in. Um, some of you have joined our group. So, wait till you see what I got planned for Friday night. Um, this was something we did in our group. I taught them how to make these decals and put these decals on cups, glassware, candles, made with a regular ink printer. So, if you're interested in our group, let's get you on because you aren't going to want to miss Friday night. Isn't that cute? And then have a little music playing. I think they are adorable. Oh, that's my son and his wife. And they're two Paul babies, which are two of the dogs that I bred. <laughs> well, I have the parents. And this was just my logo that I put on the candle. Thank you, Peggy. Thanks, Joy. Are you looking forward to Friday night, Joy? We are going to have fun. And Joy, don't forget to private message me your home address because the decals that we used on this, I want to send you one. I want you to try it. So for any of the new people that joined our group, I need your home address. Y'all going to try and make these now? Everybody kind of disappeared on us. All right. Well, if you think of any questions or if you attempt to make this on your own, please send me a picture. I'd love to see. I love to see how I inspire everybody and what they make out of them. And we have a community group that's fabulously fine designers, and that group is for everybody. And then we have a private group, and that's a paid private group. You get eight designers for the price of one. And we have Zoom calls twice a week where we, um, we talk and 
and share designs that we do not share on our lives. So if you're interested, we'd love to have you join. It's a lot of fun. No questions? Can I answer everybody's question? I'll go back if there's something I missed. I will go back and I will take care of it and get back to you. You are so welcome, Miss Levine. Are you excited about Friday night, Levon? See, we kind of jacked it up with the display, right? Wait till you see what we're going to jack up on, on Friday. You are going to just love it. I wish I would have had a more notice because I could have sent everybody like a list, a supply list, so you could get it and follow along. But hey, this way you can watch me do it. I'll give you a supply list. And then if you want to make them yourself, then, you know, we can do that. Maybe that one, that look cute there. I have a feeling my dining room table, which is almost full of gnomes, is now going to be full of carolers. <laughs> I'm so glad because if you have, if you have, no, I'm not going to say anymore. No. I, I, I tried it out myself yesterday and it looks so cute. I can't wait to show you guys. It's going to be awesome sauce. So if you want some really unique ideas, join our group. The team of dream designers. You will not be sorry. There's eight of us. And we have a blast. We do Zoom calls. So it's not like on this where you type in a question for me and I answer it. No, we're face to face on these calls. So you can ask anybody in the group a question. Oh, never mind. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. I hope that um, you guys try this and let me know. I want to see what you make. I jacked it up, girl. Wait till you see what we're going to jack up on Friday. It's, it's just a, a comment that... <laughs> I said one time, and, and Levon loves it. It's kind of like on that um, say yes to the dress, where the girl's unsure about the dress. So then they go back and they jack her up, and they put, you know, a tiara in her hair and a long veil, and that's, that's all we're talking about. Jacking them up. You are so welcome, Joy. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. I got a, a dog food delivery order. I have to meet the guy because he can't get up my driveway. So, all right, I'll be seeing you soon. I'll be live next Monday. I'm always live Mondays at 6.45 Eastern Standard Time and Wednesdays, uh, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Okay? All right, have a good evening. Thanks for joining.